Hello and welcome back to my next episode. Good news, the fort has been built. Bish, bash, bish, bash. And then if we take any of these, bish, bash, bish, bash, bosh. Yeah! Lovely. I'm going to hold back on the expansion for now, uh, just be a bit defensive. Uh, probably improve relations with Muscovy at some point, actually. I might do that instead of the whole Livonian Order thing, to be fair. We're not going toward them again anytime soon. So yes, let's go and make sure that that's okay. If we did declare war, Muscovy would join in, because they hate them. So Bohemia, Austria would not because war exhaustion. Hungary would not because, ooh, they are under attack. So, we'll come back to that again in a second. Uh, this one, we'll uh, unmaintain it. And new Mark reshuttled. Keep it up for now, I think it's going to be quite a good one to have around here. Uh, yes. I will definitely get Gold Ingen, 82. It's going to go down by 13%. That's uh, 8 or so. And this is so cheap, we'll go for it anyway. This one we're going to hold off and wait for it to actually get a bit cheaper before going for it. Because it's 36, to, uh, expen it's 36 extra because of the situation. Now we're going to get these Rebels anyway. Pomeranians are going to come no matter what. So we might as well go and just sort ourselves, get ourselves prepared for them. Because remember before, they just automatically take things and get a Separatist. Uh, Strauss, Grief. God, I don't know where to hold them all off, are we? Strauss griefs. We'll start in Strauss. We'll go from there. Oh, technically I should be like, taking a month, can't I? Yeah, I can take it a month. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Ninety percent never going to happen. It takes ten years to get fully back, right? So it's going to take plus the 86,000, it's going to take 10 years for this to happen. Lower unrest and more tax, brilliant, but for 10 years of doing nothing else? Don't think so. And this is 26. Again, not going to happen anytime soon. So whack these two up. Yeah, sit back and wait for a bit. We could do some buildings, not going to just yet, uh, because... Improve some relations. Because... What can I actually build at the moment? Uh, marketplace, temple, castle. That's it. But at the moment, there's no way really worthy of that. Possibly Stettin, actually. 18 trade power. Mm. It's a potential. Riga, obviously. Oh, Riga can't have one. Jesus, we need to get us up to 20. Could get rid of the fort. There's already a fort there, isn't there? Uh, so this one should definitely be unmaintained anyway. What are you? Oh, you're not our land. Yeah, we'll keep that one for now then, because it does actually control quite a few. Uh, but yeah, I think instead of that, we might... When we get to 20, definitely put some sort of marketplace. As for here, we could put a marketplace, but it's just more trade for a place that we're not collecting to. Collecting from. Um, and tax is only 0.28. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll wait for the rebels to rise up and then we'll do it. Do, 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 do. Bastards. <laughs> They're definitely going to rise up, so there's like nothing I can really do about it. Oh yeah, we did break alliance. I, I, oops. Brandenburg's not expanded. A bit worried. Ah yes, the war down here. Austria. So, the war is defence. Oh, attack against Venice and Hungarian conquest of Venetia. Nice, that's a good war to go for. As I think now, Venice and Austria and Hungary actually do go to war with each other, which is nice to see. It's what should happen. Really, it should. So, it's, it's nice to see. Uh, so, Austria and Hungary together. Well, they're at war with Venice, Naxos, Tuscany, Aragon, Naples, and the Knights. It's all little countries in Aragon. And you guys are at war with... Hungary. Bosnia and Austria. No, it's a Bos Hungary did not manage to take over Bosnia? Oh, have you got them as like a vassal? Vassal. Okay, they vassalized Bosnia. Who's winning then? They're losing. 
you got Venezia, haven't you? Why are you going to have Venezia? Wow, Hungary with Venezia is going to be quite odd to look at. Quite odd indeed. Okay, we have a little bit of room, so I will probably build another galley. Galley. We have no manpower left. I might even grab... No, they're fine. Consolidate. Ooh, I went to three, I went to four. Shit. Bad math, Joe. That'll do. Uh, we can maybe we can build one more infantry. Not yet, obviously, but we will in the future. Shit. Ah, well, they're, they're a better strength now. It's all good. Right, to improve a lot. There we go. They've risen up. Take them on quite quickly. We need to improve relations with... You're looking good. 85. 72. You love me. That's good. Uh, I might uh, improve relations with Brandenburg for a bit. Let's do that. And this is woods, and this is woods. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Bastards. There's, just no, there's no chance. There has to be something around that. Oh god, give me some better rolls. <gasps> give me some better rolls. Oh, that ugly. Really, mate? Really? We might have to spend some points to raise them up. It's 2,000. Chum 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 churu! Chum 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 churu! So they now have separatism, but recent rebel uprising, so that does help. In fact, let's go ahead and build. Build, build, build! A marketplace! Build, build, build! A marketplace! Support the Florentine school! Because of our relative notability, of course, we're in a position to support the Italian artists in the Florentine school. Being perceived as patrons of international art would definitely help our propaganda efforts. Of course, they shall have our support. Jesus. Now, before, I'd be like, yeah, fine, whatever. However, is the yearly prestige worth 30 admin and 10 diplo? Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. We shall do it. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Right, you guys can sit there for a bit. We'll regenerate. Dun, 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 dun. Has no immediate impact. Okay, so you spend 10 military points to create an army from the garrison of the province. 1960. Hmm. England's paper controller. I see. <laughs> Did not expect. Alliance has been released. Connaught is not out of Scotland anymore because Scotland, uh, Connaught is now a vassal of England. There's rebels happening, actually. Oh no, wait. We need 69, uh, we need 1470. We'll wait. Just like we'll wait with this. Let's get it behind. Oh, hello. Poge Magnate. Magnate or Mangate? Magnate. Rebels. Oh wow, lovely. Uh, currently then. 28 out of 35. Opponent's 26. We'll see how it goes. Come on. Let's get to 10,000. A truce with Mecklenburg is now ended. 10? Oh my goodness. One more month, maybe? 10? <gasps> Got like no troops at all. 150 per month, right, just... What are you looking for? A war exhaustion. That's fine. You jump in. You can wait one more, one more month, surely. One more. Oh, no, 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 stop. Oh, I thought that was this. Byzantine refugees. My lord. Byzantium is... Oh, really? <gasps> no. 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 <laughs> so sad. 
to fall into the Saracens, the dirty Saracens, the last bastion of the Roman Empire. The city of Constantine is now in Turkish hands. Turkish hands. As Christendom reels in the shock, Byzantium refugees flock to the cities and courts of Europe, bringing with them old manuscripts of classical knowledge tra tracts by Aristotle, Plato and Galen, and a thorough knowledge of both Latin and Greek. Inviting these refugees to, to, to Teutonic Order might provide an enormous boost to our own efforts in the fields of culture and science. No matter what, I'm saying yes. Oh, fuck. Lose 50 Diplo and 30 Admin Power and get 5 Prestige or lose 5 Prestige. Right, we can easily bounce this one out. Uh, for 30 years we get 10% lower Diplo, lower tech cost. And tech costs... Let's say 600. So 10% 60. So, bam, straight away. Even if you just do it once, it works out. So, 100% yes. And from this side, we get it. It's 5% cheaper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Look at that. Shipyard. 50% reduction in shipbuilding time, 10% reduction in ship cost, and 25% increased ship repair rate. So that's definitely good, to, I think, to put in at least one place. So we'll go for that, which actually boosts us to 20% extra trade efficiency. And we can now build a shipyard. So you head over to there. In fact, let's just bring everyone to Danzig. Danzig is the place. Danzig is the place to be. Anywhere, anyone is anyone. Right, we'll have to jump in soon. Group up and mothball. I think we can probably last at least one more month. Yeah? Alright, let's go. They'll jump in. And then we'll also rise up. So it should jump from 10 to about 12. But if we lose it, we lose it. Go on, son. 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 Go on. Go on. Go on. Rebels actually have an hour play discipline, the bastards. Yeah! Victory is ours, and you should have no. Oh, still got 2,000 garrison. Did not expect. I'm so glad I actually left that on there now. Okay, so trade. What was it? Marketplace. <coughs> is production or trade? I forgot. Trade. 18.2. Which goes to. Hang on. Yep, yeah, wait. 18.2 up to... 24.8. Rumours talk about several priests who have been preaching a heresy, which is clearly against our one true faith. The local populace seems to follow their words, and this may become troublesome in the future. Lose 5 prestige. Marienburg. Mar that's, that's a place, isn't it? That's Mecklenburg. Marienburg. 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 Uh, they get heresy. Plus two unrest. Less tax. Less manpower. And more autonomy change. All the fucking hell. Okay. 30 Diplo power. Are we making much? For four, we're, we're, we're kind of going to be ahead on Diplo power, to be fair, so I probably don't need to worry too much about Diplo. Uh, as opposed to 5 prestige, 2 unrest, low attacks. L yeah, we'll go for a l crackdown on it for sure. We kind of we have to try and stay Catholic for quite a while. How's Poland doing? Lithuania's still 28, Poland's still 26. They're just leaving them. Okay. Makes sense. I think. How are our dudes doing? This is down, this is down, it's down to 129. Doesn't seem right. The numbers. Oh, it was thirteen percent, wasn't it? Not thirty percent. Okay, so we go now. It's not going to be much different. So we'll go for it. Bring this down. So Livonian separatists. We'll go over to Livonia next. Uh, Newmark. We might bring Newmark down. We have money to be fair. This one could be a good one just to keep just to keep going. Uh, so we'll do that. Twenty out of twenty one. Nineteen nineteen. Yeah, we need to wait for manpower to re recover. We need 12,000. Wow. Are you ready? Fabricate more claims! Go, go, go. We're going to try and push them. Uh, you come back. Fabricate a claim. And in fact, if they are taking out rebels like this, we have a chance of going to war with them. Because it means they will be weakened. However, we are massively weakened ourselves. Whoa. 
minus one, minus one. Have they got a leader? A two zero compared to their zero three. I think they might. Oh, this is going to be close to my shipping this now. Always lakes here anyway. Twelve. That's all right. They're going to win purely from numbers, but wow, that was close. Oh, they might not. They, I think they will. Please lose. Please lose. Please lose. Ah, <gasps> they actually lost. <laughs> Nice. Go on, rebels. That was stupid. They had to cross a river. So Poland's gone down to sixteen thousand. It's still eighteen thousand reserves. Though, to be fair, uh, vassalized Mecklenburg. Now, what I would like. I don't know if it happens or not. I'd like if this actually gave you some uh, events. I don't think it does. But it would if they gave you some events. Like just a fifty-fifty chance. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win. Uh, really. Do we? Are they historical allies? We're not, are we? We're going to be the same religion. Who do you, sorry, who do you hate? Lundberg, Hansa, and Brandenburg. Good. That is Brandenburg, yeah. They wouldn't vassalize because they're a member of the Empire. <sighs> they're military and economic, so there's, there's no point. It wouldn't happen. What's our situation? Alliances all around. No, we didn't, 50%. That's Riga. He needs to be going to here. Fool. That Lithuania coming to help them. That's how you take out some rebels. Good job. How is their war going on down? So, oh, it's gone to 70. Let's have a quick check of the world before we end the episode. Took a few minutes doing this. So, Austria. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a personal union. They've peaced out. So, <laughs> Venice is just under siege by everybody. They can't have many troops left, surely. And yet they do. 10,000 if they do have some manpower. Uh, you seem to have taken nothing. Uh, they, they seem to keep on piecing out and taking nothing. Morocco took the land back. So, Morocco had the war. Uh, they were losing massively, it seemed. And they've taken Quetta back from Portugal. Castile has taken two bits of Granada. With no alliances. Aragon is at war with Milan, Venice, Aragon, Naples. France is not at war with anybody. They are allied with Hungary and Savoy. England's not at war. Scotland's not at war. Austria's not at war. Milan is. Savoy is not. Venice is. The Papal State's grown quite nicely. Good job, a state du pape. Ottoman at war with Georgia. What's this war? Crimean conquest of Georgia. Okay. And. Timur is in the Tarbarustian conquest of Zavin. Ooh, against Timur, that's quite, quite a nice war. Mamluks, nothing. Tunis, nothing. Tlemkin, nothing. Uh, Denmark, nothing. Muscovy, nothing. Not a lot going on, is there? Feels a bit odd. Feels a bit odd indeed. Although, without your war, can we just come back from Muscovy for a second? Who would join in? Austria still wouldn't, mainly because of defensiveness. And took away the debt, I think Hungary would join in. So we just need to make Austria somehow not defensive against us, and everything will be good. Let's improve some relations again. Maybe give them a gift. Who knows? Families left behind. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Many were called, few returned. Families of nobles and commoners alike toiled as they waited for soldiers to return home. But the war ended and they never did. Now the toiling continues, many being so preoccupied with the work to make up for their lost pair of hands that they barely have time to grieve. One of the ones who have time to think, of the ones who have time to think, many are increasingly thinking that we have been throwing away lives too carelessly. Hey, they gave me some extra ducats. So, Teutonic Court, we can ease the tax burden on the bereaved. Let us be more lenient drafting for the army in the future. Or this is the price must be paid for our glorious nation. So for five years, less tax, 15% less tax by the way, 20% less manpower, or more unrest. Mm, I guess less tax for five years though, because we need the manpower, we have the money. Damn. Watch this go down to so 8.53. Oh, it's not too bad. Definitely the best choice. 
Who can? Oh, Magdeburg. That's fine. Brandenburg is still allied. Things we don't want to push west too much more. We want, kind of want to go east and Lithuania kind of direction, but we definitely need to recover. Maybe we should have gone for my manpower. No, that was the issue. We can't recover it because we still need 10,000 men. Goodness me, we massively need to increase our manpower and force them at that. So, with that in mind, now we do need this. There we go, we need that anyway. We need, yeah, we need the next tech to be able to do it. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Let's speed it up. It's on five. Good, good, good. Brandenburg has declared war on Magdeburg. Aragon's the new paper controller. How is that switching so quickly? They're dying very, very fast. Wait for 100 for stability. Papal state. Oh, we're not actually making too much, are we? Uh, to devotion. Control cardinals, base value. 15% because of opinion. So it's half of our. Yeah. So screw you. And hello, people state. Still defensive? Well, screw you. Ah, so Brandenburg's at war with Magdeburg. It would have been quite nice to actually ally with them, I guess, then. Oh, God, they can bring Poland in. Jesus Christ. What is that? A 10 and a 6. Oh, not so strong. Still, it's nice to have. Protect against Poland. Vassalize Mecklenburg. Reserves need to recover. So 26 is what they want. Oh, we could do that. We really could, but... Don't know. At some point. He's going to pop. There we go. And again. And again. Pop, pop, pop. Privileges. Pop, pop, pop. Come on. <laughs> it's not popping. Oh, that's so close. Uh, how many more ships can we get? 19 out of 19. We could actually get another set of troops. It will have to be things like... Uh, Mercenaries. In fact, we can afford mercenaries because we are a kind of country that has the money. Do we have any kind of changes for mercenaries? We don't, do we? No. But I will grab another mercenary, I think. In fact, one thing is probably grab three mercenaries and get rid of another one of the normal troops so they can recover a bit faster. Uh, just get rid of you, to be fair. So yeah. Bosh. In you go. That's three thousand troops, pretty much no manpower. That was nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Corn Riga, brilliant. Massive reduction in unrest. Riga will now start producing tax. Autonomy is through the roof. There should be more troops as well soon. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm thinking then that Riga could probably be... Well, no, not here. Might be worthwhile turning on this one. The border provinces can probably be turned on soon. I do feel a war coming along. God, they're being crushed. Uh, but for now, I'm going to end the episode here. How their, how's their man, manpower doing? Ooh, Ottomans have no manpower left. Ooh. Only if we could go to war with them. France is looking good. QQ, no manpower. Lithuania... Absolutely fine, not lost anything at all. 26, hardly lost anything. Venice are completely out. Well, well, well. It's looking good, it's looking good. Definitely time soon, let's go to war. Trade dispute. Who is my, uh. Livonian Brandenburg Poland? Embargo, embargo, embargo. We're at 52, by the way, which does mean, um, <coughs> plus one leader without upkeep. But also, plus one of the three, my voice is going, of the three points. So we are getting 11.85. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so we are speeding through. We just realise this is so important now. So, so important. Once we grab this, let's just grab this. No, actually, the next episode. 25 minutes we've been now. Next episode. I'll see you then. Oh, patchwork. See you then. Bye-bye.